Hi, I'm Juanita Steinbachers, a bereavement coordinator with Tabitha Hospice. And I'm Jason Padilla. I'm also a bereavement coordinator here at Tabitha Hospice, and we're here to talk about anticipatory grief. Anticipatory grief is a grief that we all feel before a loss. We can start feeling or experiencing anticipatory grief the moment that diagnosis comes and really can go all the way up until the time the patient or person dies. All those little losses along the way are what we experience and part of anticipatory grief and can be felt by the one who is dying and the one, the loved one and the caregiver. So one thing that needs to be said is anticipatory grief is really a normal feeling. It doesn't matter if the grief is going to be happening later. We are grieving something that we are anticipating in the future. And so all those classic emotions of fear and sadness or anger or anything else that comes with grief can be felt during this anticipatory grieving period. And as you go through it, you have to acknowledge those little losses along the way, the little losses of ability or not being able to go out, or even some of the losses like the hopes and dreams that you and your spouse had of that one more trip. Acknowledge those losses, feel them as you move through them. I think another important thing to do is while you have this remaining time, treasure it, consider it a mm -hmm. gift, you know, connect with others, find some time to spend some quality time together and do the things that you are still able to do while you still have that time. If you enjoy being outside or connecting with nature, try and find ways of doing that, you know, make these moments count so that you don't have um, as many regrets later on. Anticipatory grief doesn't mean you're giving up all hope. It means that you are still caring for that family member or friend. You're supporting them in whatever ways you can. But yes, you are still grieving during that time. So try and focus on what you can do now, but maybe even have a few conversations about what the end might look like or funeral plans, end of life things, and when you can and when everyone is able to. One of the things I think people struggle with is uh, when we're caregiving or when we're thinking about our final moments here, we often struggle on what to do. What do we do with that remaining time? And often, you don't really need to do very much. Some of it is just spending some quality time with the person, even if it's in silence or just uh, taking a moment to see what's going on in the world or having a, a simple, relaxing conversation about what anything they might remember, any memories or anything. That's uh, something to take their minds off of things. Sometimes reflecting on remaining time, if you're the child caring for your parent, it's a, mom, dad, what was your life like? You know, just tell me some of these memories, fill in the gaps that I don't know. If you need more information, go ahead and visit our website at tabitha.org or call us at 402-486-8506.